Hello Coach, Coach Sam here from Underdog Hoops. In today's video, we are going to show you how we create our plays on Hoops Geek. So, this is a very useful tool for all coaches. Um, I especially like it because it allows you to visualize plays with your team. Um, so sometimes it's a little hard for some players to understand where they go or the vicinity of where they go. So you want to make sure that you have it all drawn out and it'll kind of go over everything for them. Uh, and you can help them along the way with that. So one of the things that I like it for is I like to have my plays organized. So in this app, you really get to show off um, a lot of different stuff. So it makes life easier for coaches. Um, you can create plays really, really easily. Uh, and I'll get into that shortly. But they've got really good reviews. So they got people that have been coaching for a long time that have really good reviews. Um, it's an easy drag and drop system. So you'll just you get to click on where you want people to go. And like here, they're setting a screen. This guy's going to go around the screen. It's basically a drag and drop. That's all you got to do. Um, there's play animation. So you can go back. You can create videos. You can create playbooks. You can create anything and have it all animated to make sure that you, your team understands where they need to go and where they need to be. Create a full playbook. So I talked about this. I'll go over it in my own playbook uh, and how I organize mine. But create your own playbook. Have uh multiple chapters, multiple areas of emphasis. Um, and then there's pricing. So the really cool thing about this is it's only $99 a year, or you can do the free version. Uh, and you only do, you only can get five plays in one playbook, which isn't a whole lot, but once you upgrade to the yearly plan, you get unlimited plays, unlimited playbook, uh, you can share and share plays that are ad free, export plays as MP4s, and much more. So I really like this because it offers me so much, and it's a pretty reasonably priced um, software. So I'm gonna take you in to my. Um, my hoops geek and we'll get started with that so let's let me share my screen with you on that oops did i share the same one okay hold on okay so here is my hoops geek interface um so here are my plays i have my plays all set up um now i don't have all my plays that i have entirely because um you know i'm still getting used to the system but for having it for six months it's a really good interface to have your plays um so here are my plays I have all of them all organized or all in one place. So I also have playbook access. So you can create your playbook. So here's our blob play series, which is actually available on my store. Uh, and it's free. So you can pick that up for free. Um, just sign up for our newsletter and you'll get it for free. So this is how it's set up. So you're going to have your table of contents up here um, with all the good stuff. 
then you're going to have your second chapter, whatever uh, you want to put in. So if you have some things that you want to say in your playbook and just make sure that it all gets out, then you can break it up into chapters like a text chapter and then a um, chapter like this where you just have your plays. So this is what I did. Um, I made one chapter for text and then another chapter for um, your blob series plays. So what I did, and this is very simple, um, you can have them animated. So it animates it for you. Four sets the screen, two goes to the corner. Okay, there you go. And then the five will set the screen for the four. The four will come off and get that layup right there. And that's how it's supposed to be. So, and this is the movement of everyone else. Get that layup. You can pass the five, two, and the three will be the safety release valve. Um, so this is how it's set up in my playbook. So you can also have, play a full animation. So you can pull up the full animation and you can watch it like that. And it just breaks it down into an easy to use system. Uh, you can also write plays like this. You can write the what you will do, what the person will do, uh, and then put it in the text. So I will show you how to make a playbook. We're going to make a playbook right now. Um, so we're, our first chapter is going to be just, um, let's say, man offense. Okay, so we're going to look up our man offense. So my man offense is zone. So zona down. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that this is, you can easily drag and drop that. Um, and if you wanted to add some text into it, you can also do that as well. You can add some text. You can say this offense is for uh, a man zone or a man offense um, and add some text in there. If you wanted to create a new chapter, you can also do that pretty easily. So you're going to just drag and drop, create a new chapter. Boom. You got maybe you have a uh, zone offense. And you want to drag and drop a zone offense. So my zone offense is called circle. So we're going to drag that over here. Okay, and maybe you want to add some more text. So you're going to add maybe like how to run the offense correctly, maybe points of emphasis, stuff like that. So this is a very simple interface. Um, now I'm going to show you how to create plays. I'm going to save this as an example. Real quick. Oh. All right, so we're going to save it, and then we're going to save it to Doug Hoops, and then we'll save it to there. All right, so now what we want to do is we're going to create a playbook or a play. So let's create a play. So here is the very simple, easy to use system. So if I wanted to create a out of bounds play, a or um, a horns play or some sort of play, any play, what I would do is you can drag and drop these really easily. These guys move really easily. All you just you just click on them and move them to your desired spot. So what I'm going to do, actually, let's 
Let's make our Zona offense. Okay, so we're going to make our Zona offense. So, first of all, in this Zona offense, I want someone to screen down. Okay, so my bigs are going to be screening down. Now, if you do it like this, it's so easy to make that mistake, but it's easy to fix as well. So you're just going to click this, move it over to the desired person that you want to have screen, and then you're going to move that screen to the desired person that you want to come off that screen. Okay, so now we drag it up. So now what we're doing is we're making this person cut. So we're making, there we go. So now we have them cutting up to the top. So four and five screen down. These guys cut up. Now what you're going to do is I'm going to create a new phase. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. If the ball is passed away, so if it's passed to the three, the one will immediately cut to the opposite side. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Now, what the five is going to do is the five is going to set a screen for the three. So we're going to make it so it's a decent screen. He's going to screen. Actually, let's make this into a new phase. So we're going to make that into a new phase. We're going to click on the five. We're going to set the screen. Sometimes it's easier to create a new phase because it's just a little difficult for to see for to, to see how the play works. So the three is going to come off this screen. Oops, that should be a dribble. So the five, the three can dribble off the five screen. And the three wants to get into the key if they can into the key. Now, if they can't penetrate and get a layup, they are going to kick out to the two. So the other part of this offense is actually, no, I'm wrong on that. Okay. So the four would then come up. See coaches can be wrong too. Um, Four can come up, you're going to set the three dribbles in. If he doesn't have anything, immediately passes out to the four. Okay, now the two is going to cut. So the two cuts and is going to cut all the way to the corner. And we're trying, we want to try and get a layup out of this. If it's not there, we don't worry about it. But we just keep running our offense. Okay. Um, this guy over here. Let's see if it all worked. All right. So every time we set screens, we want to have our big also go and cut with our guard. So we want to have good cuts. So I need to fix this a little bit. Okay, so the three is going to replace himself uh, in the next play. So the three is literally just going to come out here and fill back into the spot where he was originally. Now, the, f the four has the ball. The one 
will then come up a little bit. We're going to give the pass to the one. So let's make a desired cut. He comes up. We are looking for a pass. Pass. Pass to the one. Now, the four is going to continue with this screen. So he immediately passes. He needs to set a screen. And the one will come off. So the one dribbles. And it starts the play all over again. So the five will come up. And we're looking for the five to catch the ball just around the three point line, ready to turn and fire. And the th same thing will happen over and over and over again. So the three will cut once the five gets the ball. And the five will pass to the two. And the five will set a screen for the two. And it'll the two will come off that screen. So this is a great example. Um, now, when it comes to animation, okay, it's a little tricky, but here's how we're doing our animation. So we want the four and the five to set the screen, screen at the same time. So what I want for them to do is we're going to have it executed at the same time. This is this button right there. So we're also going to have the cuts by three and two at the same time. You don't want to click this one because then it'll add it to the same time as this. So we're going to click the second one. So I always click the second one to make sure that they are always on the same um same page so we're gonna do this example i'm gonna show you without this without these and then i'll show you with it so it's they're setting the screens okay cut cut it's slower okay but if we say let's execute at the same time with this let's not do that one right now i'll show you what that looks like so, boom, they would go at the same time. Okay, great. So, now what we'll do is we'll add, they cut at the same time, these two. So, it'll do it at the same time as the other two. Boom, there we go. Now yours all set. Now it's the correct way. Now, what we'll do is, I think that this one's okay, let me see. So they pass and then they cut. That's one, one action. So that's fine. Now we're going to go to the next one. Okay, let's see about this one. There's a lot of movement in this one. So the five sets the screen, the three comes off, the four comes up, ready for this. So I may want to, so that five is, needs to come up and set the screen earlier. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll drag this up, the three dribbles, and we'll just see what this looks like. Okay, so boom, that looks a lot better. Okay, so now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the three so if I want to do that and let's say I want the three as the three is dribbling the five or the four will get ready to come up so I click this one because I want it to align with the dribbling of the three so let's do that.
Okay, we're a little off on that now. Okay. So, let's fix it. Okay, let's try it now. So we're going to do the full animation. We're going to just kind of see how it looks. It does take some time to get used to, but it is so worth the investment. If you guys are wanting to draw plays, um, it really helps because it just brings a more understanding to your players on what they're supposed to do. So I encourage you guys to uh, check it out. I do have an affiliate link that sends it right to you. And that affiliate link will be in the description. And it'll also uh, be on the screen ready for you guys to uh, type that in. Uh, or you can just hit the highlight the, the link and copy it into your browser. And you'll be sent right there. Um, one of the most important things that I can say to you guys about this app or this software is that it's very useful for getting your, if you have coaches that are visual, if you have players that are visual, it is something that they can look at and say, okay, I understand this part. I don't understand this part. And then you can go in as a coach and explain it to their standards so i encourage you guys to go check it out uh other than that i hope you guys have a good rest of your day